guys, it's Sam and this is my June and July book haul. These are all the books that I've bought since BEA and I'm hoping I won't be buying any more books. These are books that I really wanted so I'm okay with buying them. A lot of them are pre-orders and such but my birthday is in August so I'm hoping to not have any more hauls until my birthday haul. But Amazon Prime Day is coming up and I'm not sure the kind of deals that will be happening on books so there is potential for more books before my birthday but I'm hoping I'm going to be able to hold off. We will see. The first book that I picked up was A Book of Spirits and Thieves by Morgan Rhodes. I have had this pre-ordered since it was announced. This is the first book in the companion series to Falling Kingdoms, which as you guys know is one of my favorite series ever. I am obsessed. I've actually already read this book and done a review, so I will link that review for you guys down below. In the beginning of June I actually went book shopping with Kristen from Cap 89X because we live kind of close to each other so I picked up a few books while we were out shopping. The first book is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas and most of you guys know that this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling with like fae elements and stuff. We were actually reading this book for the Random Read Alongs group this month. We were reading this the whole month of July and then we're going to be having a live show the very beginning of August. I will link that video down below for you guys to check out if you're interested in joining us because we know that, that a lot of the hype has finally passed for this and we finally want to read it. So if you guys are like us and are waiting for some of the hype to go over then definitely read this book with us. Both of those books are super big. Why are you so tall? Then when we were at Barnes & Noble I happened to peruse the clearance section and I found Easy by Tamara Weber. I've heard a lot about this. It's a new adult I believe story and it deals with a lot of kind of complex issues but in a very good way. It deals with like slut shaming and sexual assault and stuff like that so I've heard a lot of great things about this and it's been on Book Outlet for a while. I've been meaning to pick it up but I just haven't and this is pretty much the same price if not cheaper than it would be on Book Outlet so I decided to give this one a go and see how I felt about it because I've been getting a lot of really good ratings. I will need to remove that sticker though because ew. I also picked up a graphic novel when we were out shopping and that was Low, Volume 1, The Delirium of Hope. This is an Image Comics production and I've heard a lot of mixed things about this actually. This is about a future Earth where everybody is forced to live underwater because of all the like pollution and like sun radiation and stuff that's happening above ground. The art is really cool. I love this cover. I keep seeing this cover and that's pretty much why I was finally saying I need to pick this up because it just looks like stunning art and the art is very similar to the cover which is awesome. But I've heard that there's a lot of kind of iffy things as far as how females are treated, a lot of female nudity when it doesn't really need to be, kind of like Game of Thrones in a way I guess. So we'll see how I feel about this one but I definitely want to give it a shot. I love Image Comics and like I said the art is stunning and the premise sounds really cool so we will see how I feel about this one. I then received Vengeance Road by Erin Bowman. I received this book from the publisher Houghton Mifflin Harcourt so thank you so much yet again. I am very excited about this book. I actually did receive a copy of this at BEA so I will actually be giving this book away. This is an art copy and it's not going to be released until September. This is a western YA about a girl whose father was killed because of the location of this gold mine and she's basically going on a vengeance journey to take revenge on the people that killed her dad and there's some like mysterious cowboys that show up and just sounds like everything I'm going to love. This cover is stunning and I'm just very excited for this story. I plan on reading it very soon. So if you guys are interested in actually winning a copy I'm going to be giving this copy away at some point on my Twitter so definitely go and follow me on Twitter. It is at Thoughts on Tomes and sometime in the next month or so probably I'll be giving this book away and then you guys will hopefully get a chance to read it before release as well. This next one is super exciting. A while ago I got a message from a viewer, Harita, and she was saying that she realized that I wanted a specific edition of the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy and they are available usually only on Book Depository but they haven't been available nearly at all. They're very limited edition copies and I just really adore the covers on this series for this particular edition. I do like the American editions but these just really top it and she actually said that she had an edition and that she wasn't going to reread it or anything like that and asked me if I wanted it and I basically kissed her feet and said thank you so much. Yes, I would love if you would send that to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So she sent me Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor in this beautiful edition but it's also signed. Holy freaking crap. I am just so blown away by this. I'm so excited. I have been wanting to pick up the series forever but I really want these editions so now I'm on the hunt for the next two and hopefully I can round out the series and then start reading it. I really want to read this series this fall. I wanted to read it before the end of the year. I just think these are beautiful. This edition is so much more stunning in person. I have seen it before on like Book Depository like I said but in person it has like a beautiful iridescence. It is just beautiful and I'm so thankful to finally have it in my hands. I have thanked Sharita over and over so many times. She's amazing and I'm so so grateful and thank you so so much. I'm also going to be sending her a care package in the future. She doesn't know when but it will happen and it's going to be glorious because I am so thankful for this. It's just 
it's beautiful. I can't even, I can't even explain to you how excited I am about this. Oh my god. I am so excited. I also went perusing in a local used bookstore this month and I picked up Alpha by Rachel Vincent. This is actually I think the sixth book in the Shifter series. I have the first three books. I've read the first one, I'm in the middle of the second one, and I own the third one, and then there's two other books, and then this one. But I saw this one and it was in like basically new condition, I just have to take off this really ugly sticker, but I got it for three dollars, which is awesome. So I definitely wanted to pick this one up and it'll be waiting on my shelf for when I finally get around to it. The Shifter series is an adult urban fantasy, it's about our main character Faith, and she is part of a pride of werecats, and she is very independent. Usually when you're in a pride, you remain in the pride. The female werecats are actually very rare, so they usually stay around their pride and are protected, but she is very spunky, very sassy, has a mouth on her, and doesn't want any of that. So she is actually away at college, but she gets pulled back to the pride when there are some female werecats that are going missing and possibly being killed, and so it just kind of takes off from there. The characters in here are really awesome. It's a lot of fun. If you like urban fantasy, you're going to enjoy this. It kind of ticks all those boxes for urban carnival fantasy, and it's a lot of fun. So if you are into that genre, then I would definitely recommend checking these books out. Then my most anticipated book release of 2015 happened. Can you guys guess? The Heart of Betrayal by Mary E. Pearson, which is the second book in The Remnant Chronicles, also known as the sequel to The Kiss of Deception. It is in my hands and I have been flailing about it since I got it a few days ago. I am so happy. I'm actually in the middle of reading it right now, about halfway through, loving it. I'm anxious and I just, I can't breathe and I don't, I don't know and everything is just crazy and it's just as good as the first book and I'm actually not tabbing this book because I plan on tabbing it on reread because I will be rereading this. It's beautiful. If you love the first book, you're gonna love this. The characters are getting developed even more. Leah is still one of my favorite characters of all time. Possibly one of, possibly my favorite. I don't know. I don't know if anybody can pass Alina from the Grisha trilogy, but Leah is like right there. She has the potential for it. Some of her lines in here are beautiful. I don't want to talk about it because this is not a wrap up, but oh my god, this happened and I'm very happy about it. Then another very highly anticipated release for me happened and that is The Wicked and the Divine Volume 2 Fandemonium. You guys probably know by now that I am in love with this graphic novel series. I just absolutely adore it. It is about gods that come to earth, all different various gods from all different kinds of religions, and they basically live on earth for I think two or three years, I forget because I read the first volume a little while ago, and then they die. And they kind of are cultural phenomenons. The art is stunning. This is really a hit or miss series for a lot of people. I know a lot of people that don't like this series, but I absolutely adore it. I love the like mythology surrounding it. There is a bunch of diverse characters in here. The way that sexuality is displayed in here is very diverse as well. I just love it and I cannot wait to finally get to this volume. I feel like I've been waiting for it for a long time even though I just read the first volume only a few months ago but it's a stunning series and it's right up there with Saga by Brian K. Vaughan for me. It's like almost neck and neck with Saga and Saga is my ultimate favorite series right now. So this one is a very close second. I'm looking forward to diving into this second volume. Then I got a very, very unexpected surprise when my very good friend Kristen, who I mentioned earlier from Cap and X, sent me a little bit of a care package. I recently got a new cat. He is in the transition into kind of getting into our house. He's currently being a little secluded. He just got all of his shots and everything and he's good to go. But now we have a third cat in the house. He is a stray that we found actually he was begging us to take him in from our backyard so we got him all fixed up and he's all good. And she knew that so she sent me a bunch of cat toys which the cats are going crazy about because this is a cat household and they love it. But she also sent me some books along with this to celebrate our one year booktube anniversary. It was her, Sarah Jane from the Book Lives and Eyes one year booktube anniversary very recently. I will link our live chat down below. It's like a three hour live chat. I am so sorry. But we talked about a lot of stuff there and this was kind of her celebratory gift to me which I was not expecting and I'm so so grateful and I was very excited and was not expecting it at all. The first book was An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. I'm sure all of you have heard about this. This is the first book in I think is going to be a fantasy trilogy now. It was originally going to be just a standalone and that was really appealing to me and then I found out it was going to be a trilogy and I'm a little irritated about it but it still sounds like it's going to be really good. It is kind of like a Roman type fantasy background story. I haven't really heard actually a ton about the actual plot because I've been trying to keep myself as spoiler free as possible. I know this book was super super hyped last month and I think it's still kind of hyped but I've been trying to remain as spoiler free as possible and not to be too influenced by the hype. So actually I plan on reading this sometime in the next few months or so when the hype has slowly died down and I can kind of get my own perspective on it. But it does sound like something I'm going to really enjoy. And again, this book is beautiful. And lastly, she got me Odyssey Volume 1 Off to Far Ithaca and I am so excited about this. This is by Matt Fraction and Christian Ward. This is 
a Odyssey retelling in space, like a space opera, and it's all gender flipped. So all the genders of all the main characters are flipped, which means we have a female Odysseus and it gives me life. I have been so excited about this series. I've been meaning to pick this one up. I actually kept looking at it this whole week before she sent me this box, thinking I was going to buy it. I just didn't want to wait till after my birthday. I just wanted to get it. And I was so excited that she sent this to me and I cannot wait to read this. It just really speaks to my soul and I think I'm going to really, really enjoy this. It's a Greek retelling set in a space opera setting gender flipped. It's everything I want in life. So those are all the books that I got this month. Comment down below and let me know if you read any of those books and what you thought of them. Thank you all for watching and I will see all of you guys soon. Bye! Mm -hmm.